In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made these cute little wands for my two little girls. I'm actually making these for Valentine's Day presents, and I got these little wands at Hobby Lobby. They were pure wood, um, and I believe they were, so they're in the, um, the raw wood section, and I think they were just a little over a dollar a piece. I want to say they were a dollar and some change. So I picked up two of them, and I actually used some chalk paint. It is folk art chalk paint. I got it at Hobby Lobby for $1.99. Uh, I think the color is Vintage Victorian, and it is um, water-based and non-toxic. It does say indoor use only, too. So I use that as the color, and then so the materials you're going to need are obviously um, the wands, um, any type of paint that you want, unless you want to do raw wood. Um, and then I did, I think, about three coats on each one, and then I did a light sand over the top. I also picked up some really pretty ribbon to go, um, I'm going to tie them right under the base of the wand on each one, just because it'll be, I'll show you later, but it makes it so fun and kind of flowy and frilly. And I've got both of those um, spools of ribbon at Hobby Lobby as well. The brand is the Ribbon Boutique on both of them. And one of them is this really nice checkered pattern. And then one is a really dainty thin um, pink with little white dots. So I wanted to get two different sizes of ribbon just to add a little depth and dimension. And it's going to turn out super cute. So I will show you that in the end. So besides some ribbon paint, obviously the ones, we are going to use some vinyl. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put their initials on the front and back of each one. So this is a really great project for using scrap vinyl. So make sure you're always keeping those extra pieces from other projects because sometimes you have small projects like this that are perfect little candidates for some scrap vinyl. Um, other things are your weeding tool and your scraper. And before we head into design space to create the little text images, I will just measure the space I have. And it's looking like about an inch and a half is where I want to stick around for my uh, letter size. Okay, so we're going to pop into Cricut Design Space and create some cute little initials for each one of these and we'll print them out and stick them on and then put our ribbon on and it'll be a quick and easy little Valentine's Day project. Okay, here we are in Cricut Design Space. I've already saved this project as Valentine's Wands. This is going to be very quick and easy. The only thing we're going to be doing is adding a text box to create the initials for each um, little wand. So I'm going to go over here and click text. I'm going to be using the font Don Juan, and I think it's just a Cricut um, Access member font. Let me go in here and double check if I type in Don Juan. Yes, it's a Cricut Access um, font, so if you're an Access member, you can use it for free. So that's the one I'm going to use today. I am going to go up here and add my first initial, which is K. I'm going to create a second text box for the next one and do C and I wanted them to be an inch and a half in height, so I'm gonna click on the first one and I'm gonna go up to the height and I am going to put in 1.5 and I'll do the same for the C. And because I'm gonna be printing and applying the initial on each side of the wand, I need two of each, so I'm just gonna click the K and hit duplicate, click the C and hit duplicate and I am ready to go. It took about a minute. Now I'm just gonna hit make it. I'm gonna go over here and Cricut has aligned it to save some material for me. So I am going to just pull these out just a little bit just so I have a little bit of room to cut in between. And looks like my the scrap I'm gonna be needing will be two inches by a little bit more than four inches. So again, this is a perfect, perfect project for any type of scrap material that you have laying around. Okay, so I just hit continue and it's gonna find my uh, Cricut Maker and we will get started. So let's go load our mat. Okay, so I'm just gonna load my mat with some Oracle 651 permanent vinyl and I'm using white. And this is my new mat. I just got a nice fresh one, so she is good and sticky. Just make sure it's all the way down there. 
and I did in Cricut Design Space have it set to cut vinyl. So I'm just going to load the mat. And this is going to be such a quick cut because it's just four letters. And when the Cricut button starts flashing, we will just hit, hit it and it will get going. Okay, I'm just going to do a light um, wash of the um, wands with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Especially because I... I did sand these, so I just want to make sure that they're all, there's no dust on them. Okay. Unload my mat. And this is a really sticky brand new mat, so I'm just going to flip it over and peel my final right off of the mat. Okay. Okay, this is just a tiny little cut, so I'm going to use my scissors. And I have even more scraps. That's perfect. Okay. Okay, those look good and they're dry. Okay, so I'm just going to weed these out really quick. I'm using my Cricut weeding tool. I love this tool for weeding. And going nice and slow, but this is actually a really thick and chunky text, so it's not super delicate, but. And then I have letters that don't have any middles to weed out, so that makes that easy. So I am just going to put those scissors away too quickly. I'm going to just cut these to separate them. And we will put them on with some transfer tape. How quick and easy is this? This is like a really good last minute idea. The longest part really is just the painting and letting it dry. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this um, transfer tape from Expressions Vinyl. I'm just gonna cut off the little that I'm gonna need here. One of the great things about this um, transfer tape, and actually I think um, different transfer tapes can do this too, is you can reuse it. So I'm going to try to do that and save some material today. I'm just using my Cricut scraper tool to just really, really rub that um, vinyl onto the transfer tape so it peels off really nice for us. And then look how great that comes off. This is such a um, small little piece, so I'm just going to eyeball it. And lay it down. And look at that. So easy. Okay, so I'm going to try and reuse this little guy. I think it's got a lot of stick left on it, so... And I like to really scrape down both sides just to really get it um, sticking on there. Flip this over and there we go. Okay, how cute does that look? I love it. So let's do the other one real quick. This is taking no time at all. So if you have just like a little last minute idea, this, I mean, you could use these for just about anything. Um, these would be really fun party favors too. 
Last year, my little one had a Pinkalicious party. And, oh my gosh, I would have loved to have a Cricut around that time. But we did little wands for her party, so if you're doing any type of little princess party, this would be a good idea, too. Okay. Good to see. Easy. How handy is it to reuse that transfer tape too? Okay. All right, and then the last step is just going to be putting this ribbon on. Again, I did two um, pieces of the small ribbon and then I did one thicker piece um, just to have a little trio here. And it's gonna be as simple as just tying it around it's going to give a really good tug and then I'm actually going to just push it around there and you can tie this whichever way you want how cute is this I love adding the ribbon part because it just like adds a little flowy element and they have so much fun when they're bibbity bobbity booping. <laughs> and for the second one, you'll probably want to double knot these, but for the sake of time, I'll just tie these just to show you what the final product would look like. And if you just kind of grab them individually and really pull, it kind of helps too. Okay, final product. How cute. And I think that took me, I mean, I haven't even timed myself, but very, very um, quick project. So 10 minutes maybe. Again, the painting is the, the long part, um, but they turn out so cute. And how fun will these be for Valentine's Day? So cute and pink and fun. Okay, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see what I'm crafting next, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.